you just said. Everybody's got people. That's what you want to say. That's what you said. The Bible was failed. Huh? That's what, what I just said. You said anybody who believes the Bible can be God people. That's yeah. what he said? Okay. So we're going to let the Bible speak this day, right? And every one of us is going to be alive. Right. You understand? Look, look at this. Give me Romans 9. Bring it out. Let's listen good. I'm going to show you this day that the Bible is only for you. Yeah, if you accept it. You understand? Accept you are? Do you accept the Bible? Do you believe the Bible? But give me belief real quick. Give me belief. I believe All the Bible. Give me belief first. So well. Let's listen to this. Because you believe the Bible too? Yes. You? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to see this day. Because everybody said they believe this Bible. No. That's a lie. You don't believe. Because if you believe, you don't be in purple. Like us. You don't right. start to follow. You don't believe. You just want to hear. Listen, it's good. Come on. Ecclesiastes chapter 32 and verse 24. Listen, good. Come he, on. He that believeth in the Lord. Do what? Taketh heed to the commandment. Uh-huh. So now, the first commandment. I don't see no Frenches. I hear you come here more than one time. You two. What is Frenches? What is Frenches? What? Frenches. Frenches. I've never heard of that. I don't know. So, you've been here more than one time, right? No, this is my first time. Right? What about you? I've been here more than one What about you? Yeah, I've been here couple of times. Haha! <laughs> so now, if you said you believe that, that's what you just said, you don't have the first thing like the outside appearance. This is the Frenches. Oh, this is oh, God right? That means oh. you don't believe. Read it one more time for him. Come on. Ecclesiastes chapter 32 and verse 24. Come on. He that believeth in the Lord. You're talking about believe. Who believe yeah. God. Come on. Taketh heed to the commandment. See that? None of you. Not taking heed to God's commandment. Oh, that God. means you don't believe. So now, you said everybody's God people as long as they believe the Bible. Romans 9. I'm going to show you. Huh? Brother, brother, listen. By you for link around all these men every week, brother, you ain't going to have no faith. You understand? The most I say, evil communication, do what? Mess up good manner. That's what God said. So as long as you're messing up, what? Been around them, you ain't gonna come. You ain't gonna walk from them, listen, and as we leave, you go back and do the same thing. But listen, it's good. We're gonna show you this day that not everybody's got people. You understand? Right. Tonight, you. Right, do you read the Bible? Yeah, I've read You read the Bible too? What? How much son Abraham had? How many sons do Father Abraham have? Because everybody Abraham. calling upon Father Abraham. The whole, the whole nation. That, 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 was born, you said, right? that were born to him? Yeah. yeah. Abraham, too. That's true, sir. Yeah. Okay, the Bible gonna speak. Romans 9, Romans. verse 4. Come on. Romans chapter 9 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Who are Israelites? So you hear what the Bible said? The Bible is asking, Who are the Israelites? Because even you, who are the Israelites? That's when we tell right. you that you are the people of the book, that's oh, right. It's like you've been puzzling. No, oh, I can't be the people of the book and be at the bottom. God said, Who are the Israelites? Come on. To whom pertaineth the adoption? To whom belongs the adoption? You understand? Because remember, the children of Israel sinned against God. What God did? God turned his back. Right. You understand? They went out. They started to do hard things. They started to eat swine flesh, crab, shrimp, lobster, everything they started to eat. Right. They started to do as the what? The other nation. So we boiled down. We just been like every other nation. We don't know who we are. The, the, other, the, the other people who know who we are said we are not. The Israelites, they call us nigger, they call us African American, they call us Jamaican, Bring they call us Asian. Oh, Every word they call us different from the biblical name. That's but today, right. I'm going to show you this that everybody is not God's people. And everybody is not Abraham's child. Read. And the glory. And the glory. Who got the glory? Psalm 149. Go ahead. We're going oh, to break the Bible down as you believe this day. That's the Bible is for you. Glory. Psalm 149, verse 5. For him. Verse 5, come on. Psalm chapter 149 and verse 5. Come on. Let the saints be joyful in the gl in glory. So the saints is according to Psalm 148 verse 14. The children of Israel are the saints. He said, let the right. saints joyful in glory. You understand? Go back to Romans 9 because I'm going to break it down as you get it. The glory. He said, who pretend the adoption and the glory? The Israelites. Come on. And the covenant. The covenant. Who get the covenant? The children. Huh? The children of Israel is the covenant. They're part of the covenant. I'm gonna show you. Yeah. Give me that Hebrews. 
Give me Hebrews 8 verse 13. Come on! No! Come on! I, I want you to say something, but I have to bring this out clear that you brothers can get it. You understand? And stop saying you believe. And you ain't making no move. You have to make moves, man. For you to say you believe. Lord, you get that? You're gonna say whenever I break down Romans 9 for you this day, then you're gonna get it. Come on. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 13. Come on. And that he said uh -huh. a new covenant. So now we're talking about the covenant, right? He said a new covenant. Because everybody talking about the covenant. That's why you see black, Chinese, white, everybody wanna say they can they're under the covenant. That's what they said, right? So now read it again. And he and that he said uh -huh. a new covenant. A new covenant. Who got the first covenant? Who God gave the five first book? Moses. Moses. So who had he give the, the five first book to Moses? Who he tell Moses to give the, the words into? Okay, come on. He has made the first oath. He made the first covenant whole. Do you get that? Come on. Now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish so away. The, the first covenant is the animal sacrifice. He said he made whole and oh, ready to decay. You understand? We don't do that no more. No. Do nobody kill no animal for sacrifice no more? No. So what about the new covenant? Jump down to hate and hate. The new covenant. Same Hebrews. Hebrews. You know, the, the whole instead of the whole one wax and ready to decay. You understand? So the new covenant, listen good, come on. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 8. Uh -huh. For finally fought with them. Come on. He said, uh -huh. Behold, uh -huh. the days come. The days come. That's why you see me rising up. You see he's rising up. Look. You understand? That's right. Come on. Saith the Lord. Said God. Not the white man. Because the white man ain't God. That's right. He's a man. Come on. When I will make a new covenant. So the new covenant made yet? No made yet. So how the other rest? The, the African one has said they under the covenant. You understand the Chinese one said he under the covenant. That's why he want to take your book. I want to teach you your book. You they ain't gonna teach you. We when you stand here is only we gonna tell you the truth was in the book. You understand? So the new covenant they came in. So how they want to say they under the covenant? You get that? Yeah, I get. Go back. Go back to Romans. That means the covenant, the whole covenant is ready to decay. You understand? Christ said, when I came back, I'm gonna give you a new covenant. And when I keep reading him, I'm gonna write it this time. You understand? Come on. And the giving of the law. So who God give the law to? Who God give the law to? Psalm 78 verse 5. Who God give the law to? The children of Israel. Okay. So now. So how everybody want to talk right. about the law and tithes. You have to go to church and show tithes. The Israelites is no more in existence. You understand? So how laws and tithes in the church. Do you go to church? Yes, I do. So you show tithes in church? Yes. Read that. Psalm chapter 78 and verse 5. Come on. For he established a testimony in Jacob. Come on. And appointed a law in Israel. A what? Appointed a law in a Israel. A law in Israel. That's, right. That's where God gave Moses to give the last. That's right. right. You understand that? Right. Go back to Romans again. So no. if you if you stand up right in front of us this day and you leave, man, you understand? I know it changes the next time we see you, bro. It seems like this word is not for you. Right? Do you understand that, brother? Because the first time I hear it, I made ace for it. Because I know this is me. Come on. And the giving of the law and the service of God. So now, who is the servant of God? Give me that, servant of God. Leviticus 25, 55, or Isaiah 49, verse 3, one under that. Who are the servant of God? Huh? We are servants of the living God. So how did, oh, oh, this man want to said he's the servant of God because when I see those, Jewish people with a black hat. What they want to say? They are the real Jews, right? Right. Come on. Right. Let right. me see what's going on up in this house. We want to see what's going on up in this house today. Bring it on. Leviticus chapter 25 and verse 55. So we'll go here to show you who are the servants of God. Let me see if the Chinese include are the Japanese, are the so-called white man, because he's the, he's the one who's giving all this problem. You understand? Because the Chinese never give you a God. The Harris man never give you a God to worship. Who's the one who give you a white Christ to worship? Who's the man? Give you that white cry. Okay, come on, read on. Leviticus 25, 55. Come on. For unto me the children of Israel are servants. What? That's right. For unto me the children of Israel are servants. So you see who's the servant of God? Who's the children of, who's the servant of God? The children of Israel. You so-called black. You Hispanic and you native Indian. You are the servant of God. But who's going to teach you that? 
after they put the, the native on reservation, they put you in America and you are the only one who pull up the prison system. You are the only one who taking crack cocaine and don't That's have nothing. Right. Bring it out. Do you understand that? Go back to Romans 9 again. Come on. Come and on. The We're over here to break this Bible down so you can get the understanding of it. Come on. And the promises. The promises. Who got the promises? Because everybody said God promised the whole earth. Give me that Deuteronomy 6. No, don't give me Deuteronomy. Give me 1 Kings 8, verse 56. Bring it up! Bring it up! That's what I want you to get. The promises. Just listen, it's good. Because this is what God promised to his children. You understand? Come on. 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 56. Uh -huh. Blessed be the Lord God, Lord that has given rest unto us, his people. His people? Come on. Israel. Israel. According to all that he promised. What he promised? Come on. There has not failed one word of all his good promise. So all this word was in the Bible, what God said about the Israelites. That's There's right. not one of these words failed. That's right. That's Do you right. understand? I understand? So what, what you, you want to say, if you understand this day, the promise is what God, God give you the glory. We just read it. The giving of the law. The whole earth, everybody in it to serve you. That's, That's right. right. Why are you serving them? Because until this day, we don't get it. That's why we came over here with chain and shackles around our neck. Because we break God's laws. That's you understand? Right. We have to be in talk again. God say you have to come back to be a child if you want it. If you want the kingdom, if you want to put them back in chain and shackles, you have to keep God's laws. We will promise again. Blessed no. be the Lord that has given rest unto his people Israel. Come on. According to all that he promised. All that he promised. He promised that all these other nations should be your slave. That's he promised right. you that you're going to be Go. He said going to make a man, an Israelite man, more precious. More precious than fine gold. That's what no. he said. That's These right. are the promises what God said. But you, do you want that? You want to be like a nigger, right? God said I'm going to change you. That's you be immortal. That's what God said. He can't change you forever and give you life forever. You can't die. That's what God said. All these promises in the book. But you don't want that. None of you want that. You still want to sell crack cooking to your brothers and sisters. You want to walk up the street selling weed and smoking weed. Hmm? Brother, go back. Go back to Romans again. I just tell you all what he promised and promised to you. Not the other nation. Come on. Romans chapter 9 and verse 4. Come on. Who are Israelites? Come on. To whom pertaineth the adoption? Come on. And the glory. And the glory. And the covenant. And the covenant. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. And the service of God. And the service of God. And the promises. And the promises. Whose are the fathers? So now, who are the fathers? Who are the fathers? Who are, fathers? Who are our fathers? Because everybody said, you are Abraham's children, right? Right. Give me the Deuteronomy. 6 verse 10. Who want to know who are the fathers? Let's see that. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. And it shall be when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee mm -hmm. into the land which he swore unto thy father. To thy father, can remember, God said he's going to brought us back in the land. We swear unto our fathers. Come on. To Abraham. To Abraham is our fathers. To Isaac. To Isaac is our father. And to Jacob. And to Jacob. You understand? Abraham, Abu. Huh? Abraham? Yeah. 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 Abraham, can you? We, we, I just asked you, said Abraham, have two kids, right? Right, too. Isaac so and uh, Ishmael. Huh? Isaac and Ishmael. Okay, we're going to see. We're going to mm -hmm. see. To our fathers. Okay. So now, go back and read that again. We just left. Come on. Romans 9 and verse 4. Mm -hmm. Who are Israelites? You see, we are stop. Just keep following from right here. Don't go back. Oh, okay. come on. Yeah. Whose are the fathers? Who are the fathers? Come on. And of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came. So now, who want to know who are the fathers? You understand? Because I just asked you how much kids Abraham had. Right. You said two, right? Right. All right, give me that. Give me the go back to Genesis 25 verse 1. Dismiss you and dismiss you. God, that's what they do. They may start us. So let's go. Come on. Genesis 25 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Then again, Abraham took a wife. So now, if you get that, Abraham took a wife. What's her name? And her name was Keturah. Her name was Keturah. Let me see how much kids Abraham up with Keturah. Come on. And she bare him Zimram. Zimram. Come on. And Jackson. Jackson, two. And Medan. Medan, three. And Midian. Midian, four. 
and Ishbak. And Ishbak, five. And Shua. And Shua, six. So six and two is how much? Six and two is what? So Abram have eight kids. You understand? Abram have eight kids. You understand? So now, what about the next six? Because you just said it's it just two, right? Alright, so what about the next six? I'm learning, you tell right, me, so I'm learning. Yeah. Come on. Who, whose are the fathers? Uh -huh. And of whom is concerning the flesh Christ came? So now, who concerned the flesh Christ came? Give me that Acts 2 verse 20. Bring it out! Just listen good. Who concerned the flesh? You understand? Christ came. Come on. Acts 2 and verse 20. Uh-huh. The son... <laughs> or 20. No, Acts. Acts 2 verse 30. Sorry. Verse 30. Uh-huh. Therefore, being a prophet... Come on. And knowing that God has sworn, hath an oath to him... Uh-huh. That of the fruit of his loins... That the fruit of his loins... According to the flesh... According to the flesh... He will raise up Christ <laughs> to sit on his throne. See that? So... He raised up Christ to sit on his throne, right? So the flesh, what he's talking about, he's tell, telling that he raised up Christ according to the flesh. Right. You understand? Not according to what they said in the church that Christ came from immaculate conception. That Christ came from angel. No, he said according to what? The flesh. Right. Come on, go back to Romans 9. Mm -hmm. Bring it up. Verse 5. Come on. God bless forever. Come on. Amen. Come on. Not as though the word of God had taken none effect. Not because the word of God don't take effect yet. Not because of Israel and ruling the whole world yet. Not because we are at the bottom. Come on. For they are not all Israel. They are not all Israel. Why the most I say that? Because you walking every week, right? And we're telling you about you are the Israelites and you keep walking, right? What God said in Zechariah 13. Read Zechariah 13 verse 8 for me. What God has said. God, God said, they are not all Israel. Who are of Israel. It's good. Why God say that? Come on. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. Come on. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that in all the land, come on. saith the Lord, uh -huh. two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two parts of the Israelites shall die by all non Christianity, all non Rastafari, all non Muslim, and all those things. God said two thirds of them gonna die. Bring it no, up. But the right. third shall be left therein. Only one third. Your auntie and father and four thousand with the multitude, only them alone, gonna make it through this nuclear terror destruction that's coming to America. You understand that? That's what God said. Go back. For they are not all Israel, uh -huh. which are of Israel. Come on. Neither, because they are the seed of Abraham, are they all children? You see that? It's a neither because they are all Israel. Abraham children. They are not all. Abraham children. Go back to Genesis 25 and read from 5 down to 6. This is good. You understand that? So now, the Bible is going to be plain. What about the other nation? God make everybody. Why? He's only an Israelite. This is what God said. It's not me saying it. God said it. Come on. Genesis 25 and 5. Come on. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac. So Abraham gave all what he had to who? To Isaac. So what about the other seven kids? Come on. But unto the sons of the concubines, of the sons of the concubine, Keturia and Agar, son which is Ishmael, come on, which Abraham ha had, which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts, gave him the gifts. That's what Abraham gave them gifts. He gave all what he had to Isaac and give them gifts. Jump to twenty-two, Genesis twenty-two, verse one and three. Bring it out. Bring it out. Good. You understand that? Yes, sir. This church that's on this paper, yes. on Terrible Love, are yeah. you there? Yes, we there. I have to meet you there. I got somewhere I got to be in a little while. Don't leave. I just want to break up Romans 13. I'm going to let you do that. Don't leave. Come I, on. I got to leave. Genesis 22 and verse 1. Come on. And it came to pass. And after, it came to pass. Come on. After these things mm -hmm. that God did tempt Abraham. God tempt Abraham. What did he tempt Abraham for? Come and on. And said unto him, uh -huh. Abraham. And he said, uh -huh. Behold, mm -hmm. here I am. Here I am, God. Come on. And he said, Take now thy son. He said, Take now thy son. Come on. Thine only son. Thy only son. Come on. Isaac. What? So, you see that? All the other children that Abraham have, Abraham don't talk about them. Abraham talk about one son. Who? Read it again. And he said, Come on. Take now thy son. And he said, Take now thy son. Come on. Thine only son, Isaac. 
Mm-hmm. We talk about Isaac. Isaac. Mm-hmm. You understand? Isaac bring forth who? Jacob. Right. Jacob bring forth what? Yeah, twelve tribes. Yeah, twelve tribes. Twelve tribes. Right. Come on. Whom thou lovest. What? Whom thou lovest. You even do not love the other kids. The only kids Abraham love is Isaac, which is your father. Mm-hmm. That's what God said. Go back to the Romans. So I'm just wanting you to know that everybody is not God's children. That's, children. that's right. Not because they came from Abraham. You understand? Come on. Romans 9, 7. Come on. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Are they all children? You're not all children. You're not all God's children. Come on. But in Isaac thy, shall thy seed be called. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Look at it. These are Isaac's seed. Come on. That is. They which are the children of the flesh. They which are the children of the flesh. I just read it. Come on. These are not the children of God. These are not the children of God. That's what God said. That's what God said. That's not what me said. Come on. Give me the children of the flesh. Give me Galatians 4. Bring it out. 22 to 23. Come on. No. The children of the flesh. Just listen good. Because it's not me saying it. I'm just opening my mouth for God. This is God right here. Right. Come on. But we are the servant of God. Do you understand that? Come on. We're doing God's service today on the Sabbath day. Come on. It is written that Abraham had two sons. You see that? So now, out of all the eight kids, he's talking about two. What? All you Muslim get tied up with talking about Ishmael. Get blessing. What blessing Ishmael get? He said, Ishmael, the only blessing he get, he said, Your tribe going to be a mighty and great tribe. It's 12 sons, Ishmael got add. You understand that? That's the only blessing he get. He said you're gonna give our great and mighty nation. You understand? That's it. Read it one more time again. For it is written. For it is written. That's what we're reading. It's written here in the Bible. Come on. That Abraham had two sons. Abraham had two boys. Come on. The one by a bondmaid. So the one by the bondmaid who? Hagar. The African woman. Come on. And the other, the other by a free woman. And the other by who? By who? By Sarah, right? Come on. But he, he who was the, of the bond woman, the one who's of the bond woman, which is who? Hagar. Which is, what, what a boy name? Hishmael. Come on. Was born after the flesh. Was what? Born after the flesh. Go back. So God said the children of the flesh, these are what? Go back again and read it for sister over there. Let you listen good. Because I want you guys to listen. That when we talk the Bible, we talk it. Thus said the Lord and we're going to teach you. Precept must be upon precept. Yes, sir. Let's give you the understanding. Yes, give me that no. again. Come on. Romans 9 and 8. Come on. That is, yes. they which are the children of the flesh. So who are the children of the flesh, sister? What God said just now, who's not the children of God? Ishmael. And the other one from Heg. And the other one from Ketorah. Come on. These are not the children of God. God said, these are not my children. These are not God's Bro. children. So you no. want to get it twisted. You want to say, everybody equal. No, God said no. No. Come on. But the children of the promise. But the children of the promise. Jump down to four. Jump down to verse four. Verse four. Who are the children who, of the promise? Come on. Who are Israelites? Who are the Israelites? Come on. To whom pertain the adoption? To who pertain to belong? Come on. And the glory. And what? And the glory. You get the whole kingdom. The whole hurt belongs right. to the Israelites right. as long as you repent. Come on. And the covenant. And the covenant. Come on. And the giving of the law. And we get the loss. Come on. And the service of God. And what? And the service of God. And we are the servant of God. And what? And the promises. And the promises that we get the promises. Oh, you Negroes who are in America feel like said you are Negroes. You are African American. No, you are the Israelites. You are the servant of God. That's what God right. said. Go back to Romans. Let me show you, man. Bro, everything in this book belongs to you. That's right. Do you get it? Do you want it? You have to apply it. You have to work for it. Just like when you wake up in the morning and go to your job. You have to go to work to do what? To get paid, right? If you don't work, what do you do? Okay, that's the same thing. We have to work. We have to do God's service. That's if we right. want this that's kingdom. Right. Right. Come on. Verse 9. Come on. For this is the word of promise. For this is the word of promise. We just read it. Come on. At this time will come I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And Sarah shall have a son. Come on. And not only this. And not only this. Come on. But when Rebecca also had conceived by one. Come on. Even by our father Isaac. And even by our father Isaac. Come on. For the children being not yet born. These two boys was never yet born. 
Which two boys are you talking about? No! Which two? No! Remember I talk about Rebecca now. We oh, talk okay, about Rebecca. Okay. Alright. Who Rebecca got? Uh, who know who Rebecca had? Uh, You're talking about Jacob. two more boys again. Uh, we're not flyer. Uh, we're not flyer over here. I'll praise uh, it for the most side. That's right. Uh -huh. Look here. That's right. Look here. Look here. Give me that Genesis 25, 25. Bring it up. I want you to get it. Get it. Look at it. Who can show them it? Right here. Look in the womb. We're talking about in the belly. That's the eight. In the right summer. There. That's the eight right there. Uh -huh. right. Okay. That's so now great. we're gonna go there and see if this match what in the Bible. Look at it. Come. Come on. Genesis 25 and verse 25. Come on. In the first came out red. Which one of these boys came out red? Who, who is him today? Who is that man today? What? Say it loud, brother. White man. The white man. He's not white. He's right. That's right. I don't want you to stop calling him white too. Say the red man. Don't stop. They call him rednecks. I'm lying. You, you come from down, like from Baton Rouge going down? That's where they call him down there, brother. Yes. Read one more time again. And the first came out red. Not white. He came out red. Do you understand? When you go down south, all those signs, what you see right there, when you go in the neighborhood, it is red. It is red. Read one more time. And the first came out red. And the first boy came out red. He's not white. There is no such thing as white. Yes, That's right. T-shirt white. Correct. That's right. T-shirt white. The sign right here is white. It's white. He's not white. Come on. All over like in Harry Carmen. And when he bond, he bond just like this. Geigo man. You understand? Come on. And they shall call his name Esau. You know what Esau means? Tell me. Huh? Tell me. Esau? Yeah. Isa, that's, that's the name of the Muslim called Esau too. Huh? Muslim people believe Jesus is Esau. That's what they call. So, you Muslim, right? Yeah. Where are you from? Somal. Huh? Somal. I love you, but I got to go. Doesn't matter. Keep going. I believe Jesus. I like to learn. That's what I'm saying. You African? You African? Where in Africa are you from? East. Huh? East Africa, right? Do you know about the, the, those slave docks? What in Africa, same way? Yeah, I know. Who was that slave? What was that in those docks? What African? I think so. To be honest with you, I don't, I have no knowledge. I'm learning. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you look at us right now? Do you look at us? Right? No. Yeah, I see different yeah, from all these brothers walking down the street. Is it something different, right? Yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing this day? Crazy stuff. Open the book. You know what's in this book. Every information in this book. You understand? God is who? God is who? Love, right? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Listen, listen. You're going to ask me. You're making a statement or are you asking me a question to get I'm an answer? Who do you huh? think God are? Huh? Who do you think God are? Who do you think God are? Alright, give me that numbers. You know what I want. I believe 23 verse 19. First, like you want to ask me who I think God are. You understand? And when I'm going to read it many places in the Bible. And they give me his Exodus 15 verse 3. Give me that. Exodus 15. No, give me that. Numbers, numbers chapter 20, 23 and verse 19. Come on. God is not a... God is not a man that he should lie. So who do you think God is? God is a man or a woman? Read it one more time. God is not a man. God is a man. That's what you just asked me, right? Read it one more time for this man. God is not a man. God is not a man. Come on. That he should lie. God is a man. He's God don't lie. That's what you want to say? God is a spirit too? I want you to ask you again. Yeah. You said... Who is God? Right. I just read it. You he didn't said, told God me that. You told me one, but is this a spirit too? Hold up, hold up. Give me that Exodus 15 verse 2 again. Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3. Come on. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord? The Lord is a man. So now, he's a spirit? Huh? Do you use a spirit? You is a spirit or he's a man? He's a, he's a man no, in spirit. No, I'm you. He's a man, yeah. He's All a right, man. come on. I got him. Give me Daniel 7 verse 9 for you. We're going to read about God again. Look We're going to read about Hold up. Hold up. We're going to correct what, what you just said. Because everybody said God is a spirit. He's, he's Do your spirit in you? Yeah. Do your spirit in you? That's right. Okay. So now we're going to go back to this. Hold <laughs> up. Come on. Read that. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. Come on. 
I beheld till the thrones were cast down. Daniel see all these kingdoms who tell us lies. Daniel see all of them get teared down. Lose their rulership. I see all up. All up. Yeah? When I see, God. I see God. God, God have the same image like you. That's right. God look like you and like God look like me. God, God said, come let us make men. Which men? These people right here That's in my right. image. Right. That's what God said. But do you believe that? Do you believe that? That God make you in his image? Huh? People. What? Not man, people. God said, I'm gonna read it for you again. Read that for me. First. I'll go back there. Daniel 79, I beheld till the thrones were cast down. I beheld till the throne was cast down. Are you ruling it? What tell you what you just telling me? God see them. Yeah. Demolish. God, God is the one who raised them up and take what? them down. Come, Come on. Hold on. Come on. And the ancient of days did sit. Who's the ancient of days? Who's the ancient of days? The ancients. Ancients. What ancients mean? Ancients mean uh -huh. what mean? things what was before days. Uh -huh. God is the ancient of days. Right. He is above days. Right. Come on. Creator, Whose garment right? was white as snow. The ancient of days did sit. Read right. it one more time for him. Come on. And the ancient of days did sit. Oh, you, if you sit, so you, you, you supposed to have one. Let me ask you this you're now. Supposed to have a body, do you right? believe do you believe you have many people don't believe in God? Hear this man right. I'm asking you a question. Before you speak, I ask you if you come here to ask questions to get right, answers, right. I you came here to Do you statements. believe pe now, a lot of people you, right? don't believe in God? Listen, listen, listen. To, let me tell you this. You ain't talking to no child. Uh -huh. I'm going to talk to a full growing man. Uh -huh. When I'm talking, you ain't going to talk. Right. Now, when, when, I ask this question. No, no, do but, you believe but, a lot of people don't believe no, no. in God? If you, oh, ask, if you ask me a question and I don't I'm finish, you. and I don't yeah. finish, give you the answer. Okay. Why you ask me something different? Hold up, man. Be man. Don't be like child, man. Right. Come on, read that one more time. Daniel 7 and 9. Come on. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. I beheld till the heavens. You see the rulership? That means thrones. The Assyrian, the Babylonian, the Persian and me. You understand? You see the Greeks, and you see the Romans, and you see America. You see all of them lose the rulership. Bring it on. America's still in rulership, right? You still have a question. But listen, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give you the, the question. I'm trying to give you the question, but you ain't listening. You ask me if God is a man. You told me that yeah, I believe he was a man. And you, the Holy Spirit so, so, yes, yes. What is what is what is, what is what is what is God's spirit? He's the Holy Spirit. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He all over. He all over. Let me hear what the Bible said. He all over. Let me hear what the Bible said. Let me, you, you can hear what the Bible said, what God told the people to write to put in the Bible. Hey, come on. Ain't no one man wrote no Bible now. Okay. Remember next question here, right? Yeah. You love God. Yeah. You love God? Huh? You love God? Do I love God? Yeah. Every day and every minute and every second. How God look like? What do he look like? Yeah. He look like uh, no man never seen him before. That what he said? And I just read. Right. Right. I just read. Read how God look like for him. He said you love God, but you making yourself God I love. deceiving. You, you can't deceiving us. God because I love. Anybody said they love God, you suppose you can tell. That's that man do you love, love God? Look like. Do you love God? I know what you look like. Do you know what you what look like? What is the love of God? What is the love of God? Oh, you don't want to see God? Listen, what is the love of God? Huh? What is the love of God? Oh God! Read up from him. First John! I know, I know you are a child. You are a child. You need to talk. That's what God said. Come on, read that. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Come on. You know, for this is the love of God. Come on. That we keep his commandments. See that? So you don't know nothing about the love of God? Because if you that's have a bald right. face, you as a man, I know you grow beard. Yeah. Right. And that's a law. God said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's right. What God said. It wasn't, it wasn't a lot of people didn't do that though. Read it one more time for him. Because you're still gathering, you're still talking. You're still talking. You, you still have to answer my question. You don't come here to learn. Right. You come well, here you, to make yourself a clown. So you right. Because you ain't clown enough. You, are you don't come here to be a clown. Right. Read it one me, more time. For this, this is question. the love of God. For this is the love of God. Right, right, right. That right. we answer keep his commandments. That's we keep that will be many false prophets and many are false teachers. You see that? You see that? Bring it out. First John chapter 2 and verse 3. Come on. Up. And hereby we do know that we know him. Because we're talking about people who say they love God. You understand? Come on. If we keep his commandments. That's right. If everybody said they love God. But it takes if we keep his commandments. These men in keeping God's commandments, we're talking about you love God. Shalom.
Raiders. I'm Elgin Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.